Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. Today what we're working on is trying to get the front end of the free tee all assembled. Uh, so we got most of the parts painted, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago or a month ago, and everything's pretty much all set up. Now I'm kind of going through all my parts and getting all those little bits and pieces uh, that maybe I forgot about or parts that we didn't clean. Try and get those all painted and ready to go so that everything can go back together. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some stuff cause I, that I forgot, because uh, I usually just pull out of my parts bins and a lot of times uh, I don't really order anything. It's just all the stuff I had stashed and sometimes you have to get creative to make sure that everything works together with it. But we will get the front end all together and hopefully underneath the uh, car to make the chassis finally a roller. So let's get started. All right, so we got the axle set up on the table. Uh, the way we've been doing it with this fancy new table is we use the jack stands and a ratchet strap holding it all down. That's so it doesn't twist and we can kind of build the stuff at a comfortable height. One thing to mention for you guys that as we were setting this up, I just realized if you guys are using a drop axle, especially an old drop axle that's been around for quite a long time, uh, depending on who dropped the axle, sometimes they built caster into the axle. What that means is when they heated and dropped it, they actually give a twist to the axle so that it will lay back. If your axle is not dead flat and has that caster in it, you need to make sure that you, you uh, situate which side is the front because if you put it all together and put it in, you may have like six degrees caster the wrong way, which you will be fighting. So definitely when you just have it set up on the bench or when it's laying on the ground uh, on a flat uh, surface, you can check it and see if it has caster built in. If it does, make sure you, you know which side is the front so that you don't have to take it all apart and redo it again reason I know that is because I've done it many times. So we're going to put the spindles on, get the king pin, pins in, and then we're going to start building the backing plates, put it all together, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you along the way.
All right, so we are rolling with uh, a lot of headaches. I think, see, I think everything fought us completely, tooth and nail, every step of the way. It might have been worse than the rear, uh, but that's what happens when you're using different parts. I just have a bin of parts, so we're grabbing washers and nuts and bolts, and uh, threads aren't great in some of the stuff, et cetera, et cetera. We found out that the washers, uh, the keyed washer for the, the hubs in the front uh, is different for these early uh, wide five drums where it has the cap that the threads in the grease cap versus a pounding one. It's actually like, I don't know, 16th or so smaller in diameter. So without having the right washers, the cap won't thread in. So that was just one of many problems that we had. So, but we have it rolling. It's uh, freaking sweet. It looks awesome. I really like the satin black. Uh, I think it's gonna pop really nicely next to the, the high gloss of the body, the engine, and then of course all the stainless bits. But now that we're rolling, I can work on getting the brake lines set up, uh, get those all run, get the brakes bled. Once those are done, I can work on the fuel tank and uh, just kind of work on all that stuff. The body is away at upholstery. We dropped that off last week. So that should be done by the end of the month. The engine will be done by the end of the month and everything will just magically fall together and it'll be awesome. We'll do burnouts, maybe. So uh, that's all I have for this one. I appreciate you guys following along on the updates on the free tea. Uh, it's getting closer and closer. For any guys that uh, missed it, we're doing a debut of the free tea at Viva East in Massachusetts. Uh, we'll drop a, a little flyer right here on the screen that you can see. Uh, make sure if you were local, come out to that show. It should be a good time. Bunch of uh, rockabilly bands and uh, some good cars and it's gonna be awesome. And come see the free tea and I'll be the little guy sitting there in a chair really exhausted. All right guys, thanks, catch you later.